Hey guys, recently I was tightening up a suspension bolt and as I was waiting for my torque wrench to click on that 60 foot pound mark, it just seemed like it was taking an awful lot of energy to get there. So I started wondering, is my 20 year old torque wrench still accurate? Because if it's not, and you're tightening up suspension bolts or engine bolts or other critical parts, the results could be catastrophic. So I'm going to show you a real easy way to check the accuracy of your torque wrench so you can have peace of mind. Okay guys, we got the torque wrench. The way we're going to make sure that it's accurate, I've got a large half inch drive socket clamped in my vise so it won't move. And I'm going to stick the torque wrench in the vise. And what I've done is, so one foot pound is how much energy, one pound of weight, one foot away from the center line will produce. In this case, what I've done to make it easy, the handle where you have to push for this to be accurate, from the center of the rotating mass to that line is 18 inches or basically one and a half feet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the known weight of 25 pounds and we're going to hang it at the 18 inch mark times so 18 inches is one and a half feet, 25 pounds becomes 37 and a half foot pounds is what should be the uh, amount of force applied at 18 inches. So as I hang this weight at the 18 inch mark, it should not click, and it does. So that tells me, it does kind of easily actually, so that tells me that this torque wrench is out of spec. So I'm gonna remove the end cap here and make an adjustment and see if we can't get this closer. So guys, at the end of the torque wrench here, this cap just pries off. We use a ratchet while you're holding the handle to loosen up this bolt in the middle. And then with a slotted screwdriver while I'm holding this handle, I just made my adjustments. It was a little trial and error to uh, keep trying each way inside and out. Okay guys, so we've made our adjustments inside the handle. Uh, it took a little trial and error, and now we're hanging the weight again at 18 inches. It doesn't click until I add about probably three ounces with my little finger. That's about as close as we're going to get it. I would argue close enough for any automotive application. If you're building a jet engine for a 757, that might require a little more accuracy. When you're done, you want to make sure you lock this lock bolt back down by holding the handle and cinching the outer nut with a wrench and uh, that's it put the cap back on when you're all finished hey guys that's a wrap on this video i hope you learned something today a very quick way to make sure that your bolts are torqued properly by having an accurate torque wrench if you like the video please remember to hit thumbs up and to subscribe thanks for watching